Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics and Games in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order. And we're going to start off this week with uh, one of the uh, new Teen Titans DC Collectibles statue. Uh, this, this one is Robin, obviously. And as you can see on the back, they kind of give you an idea of what all of them they are going to release will look like together. Their bases all fit together to make the big square. But it's really kind of a cool concept for collectibles and statues. So we thought we would start off today showing you that. We will then go to our first comic of the week, and that will be uh, Aberrant, Issue 3, from Action Labs. And speaking of action, uh, next up we will have, from DC, Superman in Action Comics, uh, Issue 1002. And as we like to do, we like to show you some of the variants that are available for... Uh, the comics that we have, and uh, that cover is available for Action Comics 1002, as is this variant cover is available. Very beautiful. Uh, next up from Marvel, we have issue four of The Amazing Spider-Man. And also from Marvel, up next we have issue six of The Avengers. And like they've been doing all month long, here's the uh, fantastic Welcome Back Fantastic Four variant cover. Those have been fantastic. And this is actually in our top five covers of the week. Next up from DC, we have issue 23 of Batman Beyond. And it looks like he's got some trouble with the Scarecrow. And as we will do, there is the variant cover, gorgeous variant cover of... Batman Beyond issue 23. Uh, next up from DC is issue 1 of Batman Kings of Fear. And uh, then the uh, variant cover for Batman Kings of Fear. Also in our top 5 best covers of the week. Uh, there's that cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then from Dark Horse Comics, we have issue four of Black Hammer, Age of Doom, a Jeff Lemire story, which is phenomenal. It's had several offshoots. Uh, it's been ongoing for uh, a year or so now and very popular in our store. Uh, next up from Marvel, we have issue three of Black Panther. Then from Valiant Publishing, and if you're not reading Valiant, you should. Uh, we have Britannia, The Lost Eagles of Rome, Issue 2. And it's a very glossy, thick cover. Very, very nice. And speaking of very nice covers, another one of our top five covers of the week is Cullen Bunn's image comic uh, called Cold Spots, Issue 1. And then from DC, we have Damage Annual Number 1. Also from DC, we have Detective Comics, issue 987. And again, one of our top five covers of the week is the Detective Comics 987 variant cover. Beautiful image of Batman. Uh, next up from Image, a highly anticipated, very popular series in our store, Robert Kirkman, who brings us The Walking Dead. His new title for image publishing, Die, 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 Issue 2. Uh, next up from DC, we have Issue 53 of The Flash. And, as always, the beautiful Flash variant. He's eating that burger, and I'm afraid he's going to eat a little too fast to get a cramp. So you got to be careful, kids. Don't do that at home. All right, next up. From Image Publishing, we have Issue 11 of Gasolina. I think I took her to prom. Uh, next up from Image, we have Hit Girl, Issue 7. And I think it's Part 3 of the Canada series. Then from Marvel, we have Hunt for Wolverine, Issue 4, Mystery in Madripoor. 
For a minute, I thought she was throwing up on his hand, but it, that's not it at all. All right, then from Archaea Publishing, we have uh, the beautiful and well-done Jim Henson's Labyrinth, Coronation. And then from DC, we have issue two of Justice League Dark. And again, another one of the top five covers. The Justice League Dark issue two variant cover. Gorgeous. Another one of our top five covers of the week from Marvel is for the beautiful Life of Captain Marvel issue two. That's a fantastic co cover. I like how she sees herself as a young girl on the inside. Also from Marvel is issue two of Mr. and Mrs. X. Also from Marvel, we have issue eight of Old Man Hawkeye. Also from Marvel, we have issue 46 of Old Man Logan. Then another highly anticipated uh, release this week, Marvel's relaunch of The Punisher, issue one of The Punisher, and it looks really good. And uh, as we do, here is the Return of the Fantastic Four variant cover, uh, one of the top five covers this week, and we thought that was gorgeous. Uh, next up, from Valiant, which if you're not reading Valiant, you should. Issue 9 of Quantum and Woody. And then from DC, we have Issue 7 of Raven, Daughter of Darkness. And then from Image Publishing, a very public, popular book here in our store, Issue 14 of Redneck. And then from Marvel, Issue 3 of the Sentry. Next up, we have from Valiant, which if you're not reading Valiant, you should. Uh, we have issue six of Shadow Man. I'm sorry, that's Shadow Man. Sorry. All right. Next up, we have from Image Publishing, issue three of Shanghai Red. And then from DC, we have issue eight of The Silencer. And judging by her towel, it may have been silent, but it wasn't particularly dry. Um, then next up from Marvel, we have issue 20 of Star Wars, Darth Vader. And then also from Marvel, we have issue 23 of Star Wars, Dr. Afra. Then from DC, we have Suicide Squad Annual Number One. Also from DC, we have issue 21 of the Teen Titans. And one of our top five covers of the week, the Teen Titans issue 21 variant cover. Gorgeous. Then from the DC Universe, we have issue 7 of the Terrifics. And then from IDW, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Bebop, and Rocksteady Hit the Road, issue 4. Also from IDW, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ongoing, issue 85. And then next up, we have from Marvel... Issue 5 of the new Donny Cates Venom. Very popular in the store. People really enjoying what Donny Cates is doing, bringing to the story. And um, our cover of the week this week is the Venom variant cover, the Fantastic Four return variant cover for Venom number 5. Next up, we have from Image, Wakanda Forever. Issue 1, The Avengers. I think they have the Vulture Fest down there at Wakanda. Kind of between Anna and Carbondale, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we have next from Marvel, 
a lot of you will remember this from the 80s and 90s, and please don't hold that against them. Issue 1 of West Coast Avengers. And then from Image Publishing, a very uh, highly anticipated Witchblade number 7. And then from DC, we have one of Mr. Fox's favorites, issue 53, Wonder Woman. Mr. Fox actually married her. It's kind of a little piece of trivia. Nobody knows that Mr. Fox married Wonder Woman. Uh, and as we always do, we show the beautiful variant cover for Wonder Woman, issue 53. Another one of our top five finalists for cover of the week is X-Men Gold, issue 34. Also from Marvel, we will have X-Men Red, Issue 7. And again, one of the top five covers of the week was the X-Men Red, Issue 7, Fantastic Four variant cover. And then the last cover, comic of the week is kind of a question you might ask yourself. Is it over? Issue 2. So... That's the comics that came in this week. We have plenty of uh, graphic novels and trade paperbacks came in. Seven to Eternity, Saga, East of West, Preacher, uh, a lot of the old favorites, plus uh, some Shazam and, and a lot of New 52 stuff as well. Uh, so it's a good time to come in and visit Foxes on Wednesday, August 22nd, 10 a.m. we open. Hope to see you here. Thanks.